Hello and welcome to Roente. In this presentation, we learn about sizing the Roente radiators and tow rails to a specific installation to ensure that we obtain the maximum energy efficiency and the optimum heat output. So why is it so important to size the radiators correctly to their environment? If the radiators are correctly sized to the environment, they will ensure that not, not only will the premises be heated correctly with a consistent consumption, but the energy-saving characteristics of the Roente system work to their optimum levels below the nominal power of the installation. The Roente method to calculate heating for a property relates to climatic zone, room size, and number of elements. There are two elements we need to take into consideration before we are able to work out the correct size radiator for a room. Firstly, we need to work out the climatic zone the installation is situated in, and from this, we can work out the Roente thermal coefficient. The climatic map of the UK divides the UK into different heating zones, from mild to extra cold. Each zone has a climatic coefficient based on the UK weather map, and we must also consider whether we measure a room in metres squared or metres cubed. The Roente thermal coefficient is the coefficient developed by Roente that serves to relate the number of elements necessary to heat a room. The example we have taken is for a property situated in a cold climate zone. We take the BTU value for this zone being 476 and divide it by the BTU value of one of the Roente heating elements being 595. And we end up with a figure of 0 0.8. This means that 0 0.8 elements are required to efficiently heat a meter squared area. To calculate the necessary radiators required, we must also establish the height of the ceiling. If the ceiling is less than three meters high, we can use the meters squared coefficient, and if the ceiling height is above three meters, we must use the meters cubed calculation. In this table, we show not only the climatic coefficient for each zone, but most importantly, the Roente thermal coefficient for meters squared and meters cubed. With this information, we can calculate the number of Roente elements required to heat a room. In this example, we have taken a room of 16 meters squared in the cold climate zone. The calculation is 16 meters squared multiplied by 0 0.8 elements, which equals 12.8. Therefore, a minimum of 12.8 elements are required to heat this room. This would ideally be one Roente 13 element radiator. If we take an example of a similar size room in a cold climate zone, but with a ceiling height of 3.5 meters, we need now to use a meters cubed calculation. 16 meters squared by a ceiling height of 3.5 meters is 56 meters cubed. So therefore, 56 meters cubed by the RTC, Roente thermal coefficient, of 0.26 equals 14.5, i.e. 14.5 elements required. Therefore, 15 Roente elements are required to heat this room. This would ideally be one 15 element Roente radiator. As part of the Roente range of digital integral heating system, we also offer unvented, mains pressurized digital hot water cylinders in five sizes from 50 liters to 200 liters, i.e. 50, 75, 100, 150, 200 liters. This table demonstrates the size of the cylinder required according to the use and the number of people. If there is any doubt, please contact our technical department who will be happy to assist. Roente have towel rails in both the Kiros and D-series ranges. 
The tow rail sizes are recommended by area, and sizing is also dependent on the finish of the tow rail. This example shows a bathroom with a surface area of eight square meters. We recommend a 750 watt Kiros in white, or a 750 watt D series in graphite, white, or any rail color. Again, if there is any doubt, please contact our technical department for advice. Once we are able to work out the correct products required for a specific project, we can then calculate the energy consumption, which allows us to know the real energy usage and saving. Before we are able to calculate the consumption of a product, we have to understand about nominal, effective, and available power. So what actually is nominal power? Nominal power is the maximum power that a product can demand. For example, a 1.6 kilowatt Roente radiator can demand 1.6 kilowatts. The energy usage of a product is calculated using the effective power, which is the power it uses in real time. The power that is not used, i.e. the difference between the nominal and effective power, is called the available power. With our fuzzy logic technology, at 21 degrees, our radiators typically use just 38% of the nominal power, and therefore do not use 62%. This calculation can be used to work out energy usage over a given period. This example shows the energy usage of a 13-element Roente radiator which has a nominal power of 1.43 kilowatts. The effective power of the radiator with the 38% usage is 0.54 kilowatts. The calculation is therefore 0.54 kilowatts by 12 hours multiplied by a cost of 12 pence per kilowatt hour, which is equals 78 pence per day. So this radiator running for 12 hours will cost 78 pence. We then take the 78 pence, multiply it by 30 days to give the monthly cost being £23.40. To work out the running cost of a 100 litre Roente unvented mains pressurised water cylinder, we take the nominal power being 2.4 kilowatts and multiply this by 19%, which is the effective power, giving us a total of 456 watts per hour. Over a running period of 24 hours, the water cylinder will use 456 watts by 24 hours, which is 10.94 kilowatts. Using 12 pence as the energy cost per kilowatt hour, the water cylinder will cost £1.32 per day. Over a 30-day month, it will cost £39.60. Using the Roente house as an example, the nominal power is 6.88 kilowatts, and the effective power is 2.61 kilowatts. Running this over a 12-hour period, the daily cost is £3.60, and the monthly running cost is £108. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Please refer to the Rente Kiros or D-Series product catalogues or visit our website at www.roente.co.uk for more information.